Okay, so this update of Diddy is probably the worst update since he's been arrested. Um, yeah. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back at it again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button, guys. It is daily and consistent content. Comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. And let's get into this because what TMD are reporting? Yeah. Lord. Whew. Diddy's feeling a severe reversal of fortune right now, it's being reported. Locked up in a federal jail that's held plenty of famous people, but is also about as far from the lap of luxury of his multiple, multiple homes. On the heels of the judge ordering Diddy to be held without bail, the feds shipped him out to the lower Manhattan federal courthouse and is now off to a metropolitan detention center in Brooklyn. This facility is notorious for fatal brutal conditions, a place that Diddy does not want to go. MDC Brooklyn's been the temporary home for people like R. Kelly and Ghislaine Maxwell. Now, Diddy will be settling into his new surroundings, a horrifically stark difference to his mansions. Federal judges have called out the Baru of prisons for alleged inhumane conditions at the facility where he's going to be at, where an inmate was recently murdered as of June, and then there was the food. If you look at these particular um, meal plans, MDC's meal plan has dinner options slated with meals like turkey roast or tofu with rice, boiled potatoes and water, which sore is which saw as hell is not like the Italian wine that he's used to. It's a far cry from Diddy's normal diet and everything that he's used to. But this particular place, this facility that he is going to be moved to or has been moved to is a place that Diddy does not want to go to because of the brutal conditions of somebody being, it's being reported, brutally murdered just from three to four months ago. The food is extremely scarce and plain and several notorious people have been here, like R. Kelly and Ghislaine Maxwell. So this is really, really bad for the fact that, you know, since the bail was denied and he's basically not getting out until the trial takes place because of the notorious coercion that this man has done, as we saw with, you know, 54 phone calls as of recently. But he's been shipped, guys, from the lower Manhattan federal courthouse where he was to the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn. This is not where he wants to go because this is a place where he could even die. This makes sense to me now as to why he was in certain areas in New York, in Harlem or in certain areas of the hood or wherever you want to, you know, wherever those videos were where he was with people. It looked like, you know, he was trying to either build some street cred or let people know that this is what is going on. Do you know people at these detention centers where I could be protected? Because he probably knew that he was going to be in prison for a while or something was going to take place because he was trying to sell his home in court documents. He was trying to, you know, buy off the mortgage so that you could sell that off, offering to sell his mother's house and etc. And even his plane, etc. Trying to sell it all off to get as much money as he can for bail. So he was probably around these areas because we're thinking, why is he there? So that he was able to understand the prison language by getting people on the, on the other side to protect him. Did he do that in time? We don't know. But one thing we do know is that Diddy is a prophetic famous individual. Two options when he gets to this place, or well, he's there. Either he runs that place, or he's going to be murdered and beaten up brutally for the things that he's done. And because there were videos that recently came out of him beating up Cassie, chances are, I think the second option is a lot more viable and a reality for him. So this is not a good update for Diddy at all. One of the most horrific updates outside of being arrested and charged. This is the third horrific update that I feel like he is receiving. He does not want to be moved to the Metropolitan Detention Center because they have a very bad, notorious rep of murder and brutal conditions. And this is where he's going to end up. If he had asked me a year ago that this is where this man was going to be, I wouldn't even believe you. Even after the Cassie case, even after the multiple lawsuits that came out in the early of the next year, I just didn't think that he would be in prison so soon or a very bad detention center. I thought that he would have been arrested like sometime next summer, even after the raids took place. All of this is happening so soon, guys. His older, his older brother, we used to fight over the, over the Frosted Flakes, you know what I'm saying, before Paws was invented. You know what I'm saying? But it's my brother for real. We used to actually wrestle off of the, off of the Frosted Flakes because he used to always get up early with me. And now he's one of the richest stars in the world. And I'm Yo. Like, Court documents. As to witnesses to date, the government has conducted interviews with over 50 victims and witnesses, many of whom saw or experienced the defendant's abuse. Many of these witnesses corroborate one another and their accounts are similar consistent with the other types of evidence discussed below. The government only expects that number to, to grow. 
the electronic evidence is similarly vast, it's huge. The government has sought and obtained numerous search warrants for such evidence in addition to obtaining evidence voluntarily from many witnesses. Setting aside devices, seas and connections, the government has obtained over 90 cell phones, laptops, cloud storage accounts, and as well as over 30 other electronic and storage devices, such as hard drives, thumb drives, cameras, and a surveillance system. This electronic data comes from the defendant himself, as well as co-conspirators, victims, and witnesses. Who are the victims and witnesses that have come out with all of this? That's what I would like to know. 50 victims, over 50 victims have come forth, with many more to come forth. Over 50 and we were just dealing with four to five different lawsuits, over 50 victims. One thing I wanna to add to this video before I end it is let's dead this freak off language. Let's dead this, dead the no diddy stuff, dead the freak off stuff. And instead talk about the fact that multiple women and men were abused horrifically. This is not a joke. This is not some funny nonsense laughing matter that people have turned this into with terminology to joke around. This man has abused multiple people who have been riddled with PTSD. Please get it together with the language that we use when we're discussing stuff. Over 50 victims. Do you realize how insane that is? Victims and witnesses, as well as co-conspirators. Co-conspirators are people that have worked with Diddy who are turning against him. Who are these people that have come forth? We don't know. But one thing we do know is that many celebrities right now in the cusp of everything that is going on with Diddy are very quiet. They're not saying anything. They're very quiet. All of his people. I want to know what Mary J. Blige is saying. I'm just intrigued. Jay-Z ain't said nothing either. The Kardashians. There's multiple people that he was affiliated with. He was at these brunches, left, right and centre. His diddy parties. There are so many people, let alone Usher and Bieber. It's an absolute madness, guys. Do subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. Comment down below, please, and give this video a thumbs up. Three in the morning, five hours ahead, not in New York, I'm in London, so I would really appreciate it if you click that subscription button. Want to try to get everything in under 10 minutes to you guys in these two important updates that I've just put up. A lot is going on. Yeah, Diddy's days are numbered, child. Numbered. Thanks to Cassie and to the multiple other individuals. I just can't get over the fact that it's over 50 victims. Over 50 victims. It's not going well for him, guys. Do let me know what your thoughts are. Please do subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. I am not in New York reporting. I'm in London, so it's 3 a.m. here, five hours ahead, trying to get you guys everything in less than 10 minutes so that you guys get all of the information in these bites as opposed to me, you know, dropping seven different videos when I can just put it all in 10 minutes so you guys know what's going on and we can wait till the next update. Do subscribe, click that button, send a super thanks if you guys wish to. There's a dollar sign there. Definitely hit that subscription button it's just one click that's all you guys have to do i would really appreciate it because now i've got to edit all of this and put it up for you guys asap and i'll catch you guys soon for another video